Hello everyone, welcome to VMware Arena YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support. We have uh, reached 1000 subscribers recently. Thank you so much for your support. If you are watching the video first time in this channel, please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the new videos which I am posting about VMware virtualization and other virtualization technologies. So in this video, I am going to explain you three different ways to perform vMotion without your vSphere client. So usually when we want to perform a vMotion, we will connect to our vCenter server using vSphere web client or HTML5 based client. To initiate the vMotion, we will just right click the virtual machine and uh, click on migrate and we will choose the ESXi host to migrate the virtual machine, right? So what are the other ways? What if, if you don't want to do it via HTML5 client or web client or there are some issue with the web client service you want to initiate the vMotion of uh, your virtual machine. So in this video I am going to explain you uh, three different ways to perform on vMotion operation without just logging to your vSphere client or vSphere web client. Okay. So I will explain you. So I am going to explain you three different methods. So please don't skip this video. Watch the video till the end. The first method I'm going to show it from PowerCL. PowerShell and PowerCL is a famous platform which we use to automate the vSphere related stuff, right? So to, to perform on vMotion using PowerCL, first we have to connect to the vCenter server. Just type the command connect vi server. You can provide the host name or IP address of your vCenter server. And provide the credential. So I am just logging here with using administrator at vSphere.local. local. If you have an Active Directory integration with your vCenter server, you can log in with your domain credential just to ensure you have an privilege to migrate the virtual machine. Okay. So we have successfully connected uh, to the vCenter server. To get the list of virtual machine in the vCenter server, we can just type get iPhone VM. Okay. So first we need to understand uh, which VM is running on which particular host then we will decide where we want to migrate it right. So for that we can just type uh, get iPhone VM we can pipe and select uh, the parameter whichever we want to show select name and iPhone VM host will list the virtual machines and its associated VM host where this particular virtual machine is running. Okay, so let's take one of the VM here MD demo VC which is one of my vCenter server appliance. Uh, so I'm going to migrate uh, this virtual machine MD demo VC. So the command let is move VM is the command to perform on vMotion from the power CLA move VM VM provide the virtual machine name and iPhone destination we can provide the ESXA host, the destination ESXA host where we want to migrate this virtual machine. So currently MD demo VC is running on ESXA 03. Let's move to the different ESXA host here. Okay. So I will put MD VSAN iPhone ESXI iPhone 06. Let's move it from 03 to 06 from the power CLA. Okay. Just enter. Uh, we also have an option to provide an additional parameters like a data store. Uh, we can also specify the network all these things so relocate virtual machine task has been started you can go to the vSphere client you can see uh, monitor the progress of the migration so migration is going on uh, we can see migrate virtual machine task is going on in the uh, vSphere client as well okay so the relocate virtual machine task is going on and uh, it's successfully completed let's go to the vSphere client and we will validate the migration is completed successfully or not okay Let's go to the vSphere client. Okay, so now we can see the migrate virtual machine, uh, relocate virtual machine MD demo VC task is completed and the new host it is reflecting MD vSAN ESXA 06. We can also confirm it from uh, recent task and events. We can also see the relocate virtual machine which is completed successfully. Just click on the virtual machine and uh, click on the monitor tab where we can uh, find the recent task and events which happened for this virtual machines let's validate that uh, the migration is successfully completed okay so click on the task so we can find relocate virtual machine it shows the virtual machine was migrated from 
MDV and ES603206 in the same data store we can also specify the data store parameter network parameter and uh, other parameters when we perform a V motion from power cell okay the second method I'm going to show it from DCL DCLI commands okay so DCLI commands is nothing but the data center CLI commands it's a client of uh, vSphere automation SDK for managing data center services so DCLI command can talk to the vSphere automation SDK endpoint to locate the relevant information run commands and display results to the user to access the DCLI command so we have to uh, log into the vCenter server um, appliance via SSH we can just uh, once you logged in you can just type DCLI DCLI so it provides the options so to use an uh, interactive method we can just type uh, DCLI uh, space plus I it is an interactive method basically so it helps us to autofill the you know like upcoming command for example if I type uh, vCenter then it will give me the autofill command vm so again in the vm i can perform a multiple operations like uh, um, changing a storage reveal the vm clone the vm list the virtual machine which is running on the vcenter server so let's get the vm list basically vcenter vm list so it will list all the virtual machines on that particular vCenter server inventory so it lists the memory size and it will show the VM which is a VM ID and virtual machine name and it shows the power state and what is the CPU count okay so basically when we migrate the virtual machine using DCLA command so we have to provide the VM ID here not the name okay so the the VM ID for MD demo VC is VM iPhone uh, uh, 1125 okay so next we'll get the list of ESXi host and then we will understand where we want to move it okay using the uh, command line just type uh, vcenter uh, we can uh, type uh, we can just uh, scroll down or uh, hit the down button to get uh, to get the list of options under this let me select the host okay so host uh, under the available command is list so let's let's type list so it will list the ESX host which is part of my vCenter server so as of now the host uh, it will also show the host ID the connection status and power state of ESX host okay so as of now the virtual machine is running on I think uh, we migrated it to ESX 06 using power CLI uh, so let's validate and we'll migrate uh, so which is currently running on ESX 06 okay so i'm going to migrate it to different host let's uh, run the command to perform on v motion from the dcli commands okay uh, just type vcenter vm and under the vm option we can all we can select uh, the appropriate options just uh, go down okay go down we can even unregister register the task okay so there is a option called relocate okay relocate so again this argument is missing because we have to provide the vm uh, id and the placeholder host placement host so just uh, uh, iphone iphone vm here i am going to use the md demo vc which is a virtual machine which we have used for the last example so vm id is uh, vm iphone one one two five so i'm specifying vm iphone one one two five here now we have to provide a placement host right the destination host where we want to migrate the this particular virtual machine so currently which is running on uh, mdv san esx 06 so um, we we also have uh, uh, many options like where we want to uh, keep the placement folder placement host all these things so we are going to do a select the placement host so we need to specify the destination ESX host where we want to migrate I think let's pick up um, uh, any of the host which is other than MD ESX 06 okay so which is host ID 24 I am I choose to migrate it to MDV and ESX 02 I specified the host ID here host iPhone 24 okay so the migration has migration has been initiated so you can see the relocate virtual machine task has been started here and it's going on with 44 percent 
so we have successfully initiated the vmotion using dcla commands right so the migration is going to complete basically this using dcla command we can perform a lot of operations which we can perform from the vspa client so if you are um, I, even i recently explored this options actually so that's why i just want to share it with everyone so there is a powerful command line called dcla we can perform most of the operations from uh, dcla command we can also run uh, scripting things using dcla as well okay um so we have successfully migrated uh, the virtual machine using dcla option a third option which i'm going to use is cross v center v motion utility so i have explained and uh, i have posted a detailed deep dive video how to perform on uh, cross v center v motion using uh, v center workload migration utility which is available from the fling so uh, i'm going to use the same one so if you want to understand how to register and use this utility just watch that video i'll just put it in the description uh, okay so we have to register the vcenter server in this uh, in this utility in the web page so i have already registered it so we can select the uh, option called relocate which is nothing but the vmotion select the source and target site in the same uh, um, uh, vcenter here so specific select the we uh, select the virtual machine name here which is md demo vc which i'm going to use this select the placement target which is nothing but the other esx host where we want to migrate so recently we have migrated from uh, i think 02 in the last option so let's migrate back to uh, 06 host here so if you want to change the data store we can select otherwise um, you know like we have to select the data store as well right so i'm going to select uh, the same data store i'm not uh, doing on storage vmotion using this option specify the network just click on submit it will uh, start the vmotion uh, task here we can also notice here relocate relocate virtual machine task has been started and virtual machine migration in process so this is the uh, three different options we can vmotion the virtual machines without just logging to your vSphere client i hope this is informative for you so um, uh, let's review back so we used on three different options the first one we used on uh, power cla commandlet and we have used the commandlet called uh, mu-vm in the uh, power cla commands and the second option we have used dcli which is data center cli commands we logged into the vcenter server and we used the dcli interactive prompt where it helps us to auto populate the commands and options so we have migrated the virtual machine from one esx host to other esx host using dcli command and third option i have explained you using cross vcenter workload migration utility so where uh, we can uh, you know like even uh, we can migrate the virtual machine from one vcenter to other vcenter server using that uh, uh, utility and uh, i hope these three options is useful to you if you want to perform a vmotion without just logging to your vspa client or if you having any issue with the vspa client so please please do subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you so much for your support till this date keep supporting the channel thank you so much stay safe bye bye